we are good to go. We could limit the columns by view as well if we wanted to, uh, but for the purposes here, we won't we won't go down that path. The next step is actually creating the tar is creating the team. So one of the uh, actions is actually from well through the Microsoft Teams connector here, and you can see how many different actions that come through just out of the box with the Microsoft Teams connector. There are so many different things that we can do. One of the things is we can create a team. So let's create and choose this action. Let's take, if now if you haven't used Flow before, then um, we can add and use the dynamic content from the connectors or the content that has or is used inside of this Flow. So what we have access to here, because we're triggering it when an item is created, we've got access to the values of that list item. So you can see on the right hand side here in this dialog box, we can pick from this dynamic content. So the team name is going to be the title and the description, if you remember, we had a description column. So that's gonna feed in that information there. All right, now I'm going to show advanced options here and you can see that we've got uh, the visibility option and this is a drop down. Now Teams obviously has just the two, so it's public or private, but we had our own uh, choice column in the, in the list there. So I'm gonna enter a custom value and I'm going to choose the value of the, the, the visibility value here. 